Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Toxin1 here again, and today what I got for you is we're actually going to be converting a debug kit into a development kit, or a DVT4 as it was called. Um, and the way that we're going to do that is using this device right here. Um, this is a device that's by a guy named Xbox7887, and he designed this to allow kernel debugging on retail and on debug kit hardware which means you can take your stock Xbox, solder a pin header to it. Um, you'd probably want to either soft mod it or flash the TSOP, and then you can plug this thing in right here and hook it up to your computer and you can debug the kernel. So um, the only thing that, that this one won't do that this one still will is DVD emulation, which isn't that big of a deal anymore. So stick around and I'm going to take the lid off of this one and get in there and show you how to install it. All right, I'm back guys, and as you can see, I've got the top opened up and removed the hard drive and the disk drive, and this is what we're looking for. Let's see if I can keep out of the light. Right there, that's your pin header. And so the way that this is gonna work is, let me grab that piece real quick. There we go. So we're gonna take this right here, and the way that it plugs in is with the red cable like that. Let me get it seated down in there. There we go. It just affixes to that right there, just like a mod chip would. And then I'm going to kind of do this. And I asked Xbox how he recommended running it through, and he said just drape it out of the side like that and put your top back down on it. Um, so that's what I'm getting ready to do. Um, now, if you're not sure how to get like a debug kit or a development type console. Um, Modern Vintage Gamer actually made a really good tutorial on how to convert your retail into a debug kit. So I'll leave a link in the description of his video. Um, so huge shout out to him for doing that. And then all you need is one of these right here and you'll be able to do that stuff. So um, after this, we're gonna jump over to the computer and go to the, um, the Win Debug application and I'll just show you how you find it on there. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, so before we go to the computer, I wanted to show you a couple things. Um, this cable has to be draped out of the side of the console. And so what I did, because it was kind of fighting me the entire time, is I took a piece of tape, obviously, and taped it down right here. And then I also put some right here so that it didn't get worn away on the side of this Faraday cage here, because I just was worried that over time it might rub into there and cause the wires to short out and fry the motherboard or something and we definitely don't want that to happen so I wrapped it in some electrical tape and then on the other side here I've also put some tape to kind of hold it up against there so um, uh, the other thing um, I know people are going to ask me for information about this right here um, Xbox 7887 is the one who designed this and I purchased this from him. It's actually a prototype and so there, he's not manufacturing these at all. Um, he made me this one um, just because he's an awesome guy um, to let me try it out but um, he's planning on releasing the schematics for it. Um, so that means you can buy all these parts right here and get the, the board made and stuff like that and you can go ahead and have your own just like this but for this, uh, this purpose right here, it's just a prototype. I just wanted to show you guys how this is going to work when you get one. Alright guys, so it's all done. I've got it put back together and as you can see, it just comes down out of the side right there and there's the rest of it. So um, let's go hook this up to the computer and I'll show you what to do. Alright guys, I'm back here at the computer. Um, actually, this is Xbox 7887 doing the recording for me. My kit's having an issue where it's either a CPU or a GPU um, issue. I've probably got to get them reballed. Um, so I had him record it for me. Uh, so he's just going to kind of walk us through the steps as far as what you can do with this thing. Um, I mean, you can do just like you can with a development kit. Um, he's just doing a little demo for us. Um, so I'll go ahead and let you guys watch that. Uh, if you liked it, go ahead and give us a like. If you disliked it, go ahead and dislike it. And if you want to see some more content from me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And hopefully uh, we'll be seeing some more videos soon. Thanks, guys.